You're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to MGA for sending me this doll that we're about to review. You already know, you see the snake print, you saw the title. We are going to be reviewing Heather Grayson. Before we continue, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Scentbird. Just like how Netflix allows you to watch hundreds of titles, Scentbird allows you to test over 600 different scents, ranging from Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, and many more. And they work directly with the brand, so you know they're 100% authentic. How does it work? Sign up to receive a new fragrance every month for just $16. Each bottle is a 30-day supply, and you can even skip months without penalties. Not sure what scents you want? Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and a simple quiz, Scentbird will allow you to find the perfect fragrance that you will love. So this month, I received these three over here. I've got Leaf by Ulrich Lang New York. I've gotten a book by Commodity, and I've also gotten Dirty Hinoki by Heretic. These are the three, as you can see, they're kind of like lipstick bullets as well. It's literally like lipstick. So you open it like that, and then you can actually just... There we go. And then it says right here, Dirty Hinoki by Heretic. Roll up our sleeves, make room. I like spraying it on the skin more than a paper. Sometimes it has to match your pH. You know how some fragrances, they smell different on other people? Like you like it on them, but then you hate it on yourself. So I like smelling it on me. So I thought I was gonna be biased because I do have perfumes by Heretic, but I really, really like the Ulrich Lang. All of the cards, they actually have like, you know, the story and like, the inspiration and everything like that. So it's really, really nice. Personally, I've been wanting to collect like perfume bottles and like just like scents and everything. I'm giving very Jackie Aina. Like if you guys follow her on TikTok, she has like a whole collection of perfumes. I'm like, I want that. I'm like, that's, that's, that's goals. So I want like whole shelf and everything. Like these three, I feel like I need like the full size of them now. So these are great to like kind of get used to the scents and really see if you like them. These bottles are such a generous size. They are eight times bigger than the department store samples that you get. Like they're like tiny, they're like this for the most part. So these are like so, so great. And I believe like 30 days is like, yes. You can actually upgrade your subscription to receive two to three fragrances per month. You guys know, perfumes can be expensive, some ranging up to $500. But with Scentbird, you can get the luxury feeling, the luxury vibe, the luxury smell with just $7 using my code. I mean, bottom line, you're going to smell amazing and fabulous. So click on the link in my description below and use the code HEXGEN55 to receive 55% off of your first month with Scentbird. That's just $7 for your first month. And for my Canadian subscribers up there, Scentbird now ships to the US and Canada! Again, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. If you guys are a fan of Rainbow High, you know that they have a new comp competition. They got, you know, the shadows are looking, and that is Shadow High. So they're like rival schools, and I'm like here for it. You guys know I like darker themes. I like black and, uh, I like black and whites. So when Rainbow High was, you know, Rainbow High is popping off, I really appreciate the stylings. I love the fashion references. They really know how to like make clothes. They know how to reference um, runway pieces. But they're very colorful. They're too colorful for me. But Shadow High though, like, my god, I'm a fan. I'm like, I'm here for it. So thank you again, MGA, for sending me this amazing package. Look at this. Um, it comes like that. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. Look at her, oh my god, she is beautiful. Let's take her out. I've got my official Shadow High uniform over here. Wow, I love the triangle. And I like how it's like holographic and everything. I hope you can see that. Oh, hell yeah. Hashtag Team Shadow High, and I agree. She's the moment though, her and her. Like, I want these two dolls. Like, I can't wait to get them. Um, definitely, okay, 
everything. Oh my god! Uh, this is. Wait a minute. That's me. Literally, the cut brows, the um, the black undercut with the white hair. Is this me? Um, okay, let's okay, let's move on from that. I'm excited. This is our girl over here, Heather Grayson. Wow. Oh, look at the packaging. I mean, the bag though. <gasps> wow. That's everything. Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. You guys. It is. It's. It's on. This is the she. Not even she. This whole dot line is the moment. My goodness. So first, before we get into the doll, of course, they come with a brush over here. This is a cute brush. Um, a comb, actually. A doll stand in transparent white with silver glitter. This is a pump with ankle straps, which I really, really love. You guys know I love a good pump. And a stiletto pump at that. It's so nice. Oh, let me actually... Ah, <gasps> yes! See, I love the packaging. It's like so easy to do. And you know, unwrap. I mean, my god, is this not the look? Or what? Now for the doll herself. <sighs> yes! Look at her. Oh my god! The back. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get it. Like, let's take this slow. You guys know MGA is so, so good with details, quality of clothing. Like I said, real textiles. Even with brats, it's the same. <gasps> snakes. Oh my god. Oh my god. She has snakes. Okay. Ah! First, head to toe. Split hair, black and white. Very Cruella de Vil. And I've always, I wanted to do, I want to do this with my hair actually. I want to do a split black and then split white because I already have the white. So I just want to do the white, the black. Um, really, really, no. What? What? What the heck? There's a ring with like hair extensions over here, which is really, really nice. Like, I don't know if it's meant to look like an accessory or her actual hair, but I love, I love it. She has uh, silver bamboo earrings in Shadow High. Her face is beautiful. So the only thing colored with these dolls are their eyes. So she actually has colored eyes. It's very rainbowy. It is um, purple, going to blue, going to teal, going to green. So that's really nice. Um, her iris is white, but like the detailing on the eyes are colored, which is really, really cute. Um, very monochromatic makeup as well. You know, very grayscale. Um, I love the brows. The glitters are actually colored. They're multicolored. She has a studded choker, um, which I thought was actually leather, but it is plastic, but it works really, really well. She is wearing this beautiful leather jacket in white, and it has a bunch of zippers, actual zippers, like plastic zippers, um, buckles and everything. And the sleeves says Shadow High right here. I don't know if you can really see, but the back, the skeleton motif in the back is absolutely crazy looking. It's so good. There's lacing in the, the sides. I love how it's caped on her. The, that is like stylish, so trendy, and it's just so, so nice. And I love how that's how it is in the box. <gasps> Her nails, oh my god! You guys know I love a good stiletto nail, and that is what she has. Um, they're not perfectly painted, but that is, like, that's easy fix. But I love the fact that it is molded with the stiletto nails, like it is pointy. Oh my god, that's everything. Let's talk about her dress. She's wearing this uh, mini dress over here, and it is, like, very asymmetrical, um, very kind of patchwork almost, zigzag lines and everything, just asymmetrical lines for the most part for her dress. As you can see, I love that there's a peekaboo black here as well. Um, bunch of zippers again. So her motif is just very much zippers, studs, 
and um, snake snake print. Um, oh my god, this jacket is lined. <gasps> wow, so so good. And like these are literal like like there's texture on this snake skin. It's not just like um, printed. I mean, it is printed, but the actual textile of this fabric is like there's grit to it. Like same as the the backup outfit. Like it has texture. It's not just like so smooth. Um, and I love how the zippers are literally miniature. I mean, they don't work. They're not like realist real zippers, but they are. They they look like zippers. She is wearing ankle boots over here um, with, with black soles, uh, pearlescent white color, and then there is snake wrapped around the heel, like the actual literal snake wrapping around her heel, which I thought is so, so nice and clever. Like, wow. Honestly, I want to get all of the dolls and I just want to like mix and match all of their outfits and kind of play around with them. Like, this is a line that I would literally buy all the dolls. Okay, purr. <gasps> Okay, I mean, I like I like this more because it is the um, a stiletto heel. I definitely ah so so cute. Heather Grayson might look intimidating, moody, and well gray, but what you see definitely isn't what you get. She's one of those girls that is always fun to be around, and more importantly, always makes you feel included. Her kindness can leave you glowing even after a short encounter, and she always offers up a good advice. Heather is also fearless when it comes to voicing her opinion, even when it's not what everyone else thinks. At Shadow High, she's a special effects makeup focus, specializing in the most amazing looks. I mean, just from her aesthetic, you wouldn't think um, special effects makeup. I would. I mean, all of them are stylish, but usually when someone is more like the spiky, like safety uh, clip person, it would be like, oh my god, they're like fashion, you know? So I like how you don't expect that. You don't expect like special effects makeup. I mean, aside from Miss Heather over here, if I was to have a favorite, it would be Chanel Onyx. My god. I want her and Natasha Zima like side by side because they're literally like at the end of the spectrum of the colors. Um, so it's just really, really nice. Oh, she's a... Natasha Zima is a cosmetic um, chemistry program. And then um, Chanel is a um, talent in couture fashion design. Now that's... She's the fashion one. Oh my god, literally, can you imagine, like, because of her white hair, black hair, I would have Chanel Onyx over here and Natasha Zima over here. Like, like if I was going to have a trio displayed, it would be that. So I think that would be so apropos. This is just the first wave of dolls, by the way. So can you imagine, like, everyone else? So, I mean, not to be, you know, not to pick sides, but I definitely picked, like, the Shadow High side, you know, hashtag Team Shadow High, just because fashion-wise, I relate to it, you know, because I like black and white. This is, like, the first time after a while that I've been, like, kind of geeking out about a line I don't, and I was like oh my god every single doll is like beautiful and like perfection and like the spectrum of a doll and I love how in their social medias they're like shading each other like Rainbow High is over here shading Shadow High and Shadow High is just having more of those comebacks and just like they're really going for the jugular when it comes to like shading each other I really like that I mean that's a good like stunt like pr stunt if anything that's a good social media boost and stuff so i don't know i just feel like it's fun other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys check out shadow high i'll have their links down below follow them on instagram like the the school rivalry like rainbow high versus shadow high again i feel like if you're from if you're um, a part of the house of hex you're automatically like team shadow high like hashtag Team Shadow High, it's like automatic. You like spooky, not spooky, but like you not you like a more edgy aesthetic. And if you're that, Shadow High is the one for us. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the shadows.